leaving nothing untouched when it comes to adding curb appeal to Sacramento. Ten local artists, part of a new project, transformed ten local dumpsters. Joining us this morning is Sally Friedlander, the board of director for Power in Alliance. Also, Allison Joe with the Sacramento Metropolitan Arts and Joya. Fonda, local artist, one of the artists involved in this project. Ladies, thank you so much to all of you for being with us this morning. Sally, we'll start with you. You're with Power in Alliance. Talk about how this all came about and what the inspiration behind this project is. Quite an unusual canvas here. Why dumpsters? Well, it is an unusual canvas. What we decided, we wanted to brand our community. The Power in area, represented by the Power in Alliance, is a, mi a mishmash of all kinds of businesses. Sure. We want to rebrand ourselves, reintroduce ourselves to the community. How best to do it? Look back at our past. Our past includes dumpsters and recycling. Well, we wanted to change that, so we've used dumpsters as our canvas. And this is just an example here of, of, of some of the art that is Absolutely. done on the dumpsters. We want to go to Joya Fonda now. Joya, one of the artists, we want to show our viewers, and put up on the screen, your exact dumpster that y you had put your art on. I know that the artists all had kind of different themes and different inspirations. Tell us about yours. Well, my dumpster is one of the oldest dumpsters. We got to pick out which one we wanted. And I like the patina and the surface of my dumpster. And the more I started working on it, the more I started to think how confused the dumpster must feel. <laughs> and so I kind of uh, really thought about my dumpster like an old man that just thought that, you know, he, he was kind of going towards retirement and then suddenly <laughs> somebody's decided to make art out of him. And so I, I um, kind of wanted to give it a celebratory feeling. I think that it uh, wanted to have a lot of color. Uh, it certainly brought it to life. Yeah. Very nice. All right, Allison um, with Sacramento Metropolitan Arts. Thanks for being here. This is an art exhibit. Dumpster, it's big, it's visual. What do you want people to see about Sacramento when they come out and look at these dumpsters? Because this is an art exhibit. Right. Well, the, the thing that I love about this exhibit is that it's really creative. This is different than your typical going to an art gallery, seeing the art. Um, this is real and in front of you and big, right? So it shows the, the creativity of our local artists. It shows the diversity in terms of our partnerships with um, our I think places like the Power in Alliance, as well as um, looking at relationships with regional transit. It's right next to a light rail station. It's accessible from the station. And it just it's, it is different and, and really creative. And, and, and the Arts Commission is really proud to be a part of this. Joy, I want to go back to you for a little bit. As an artist and seeing some of the other artists work on the dumpsters as well, was it weird for you to work on such a different media? Um, I think that uh, a lot of us do not anticipate, like, the surface area of that dumpster is very big. So it's a very large painting. It's, it's really like a mural. And the surface of, of you know, painting on metal uh, does lend, it, it gives you a lot of challenges that you don't anticipate if you're used to working on canvas or paper. Now you can say that you've done art on a dumpster. Something to check <laughs> off the bucket list. Give our viewers some information this morning if you want to go out and see this art. The show runs from today until August 30th. Tonight's gallery opening takes place at 3101 Power Inn Road in Sacramento from 5 until 8 o'clock. Ladies, thank you so much to all of you for being with us this morning.